<laughs> Welcome to the Vic, eh? I think you're going to be really happy here. If you want anything, just share. Don't bother to knock. I'll leave the door open, eh? Good night. You come because you loved him. What are you going to do now then? Run away again? Oh, I don't know, Gran. Look, I love it here. But if I'm around, I'll keep. Gran, what am I going to do? Angie's only interested in one person, and that's Den. And if you think anything different, you're an even bigger fool than I thought you were. Sour grapes, which the old beans, sour grapes. You're just jealous, that's all you are. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, indeed. You wouldn't say no, would you? If she was to offer herself no, you would not say no. Ah, but she has, matey. She has. And I did. You used to know her, didn't you? Same time as me dad. Yeah, we knocked around together. What was she like? Pam. Yeah, what was she like? Good looking lady, really fanciful. Yeah. Yes, sir. Sorry to keep you waiting. Mary. How are you, love? Mary? Wait a minute, Harry. Surely we can work this out, can't Come we? Come on, Harry, we need no, you. That's all right, it's all right. I'm going. No me, and no keyboard, right? And definitely no song. Because this little song here belongs to me, all right? Cheers. Oi, what's your game, pal? What? What do you think you're up to, eh? What are you talking about? My mother, that's what I'm bloody well talking about. You trying to pull some sort of fast one? I'm not trying to pull anything. Well, then stay clear, all right? I don't want you egging around with blokes she knows nothing about. She's a big girl now. She makes up her own mind what she does, yeah, all right? It didn't look like that to me, OK? That little ball quick came with you. So? So leave it out. I think you should be talking to your mother, not me. But not tonight, eh? I think she might be otherwise engaged. No, I ain't finished with you yet. Yes, you have, little boy! Let me give you a little warning. Stay out of things you know nothing about. Otherwise, Uncle Mehmet will have to teach you some manners. You understand? freedom to choose my own mate and you two with all the freedom in the world you're allowing people to manipulate you now, don't let them do it how about coming over tomorrow morning Sure. Just, I think I'd like you to go over the books. Okay. Stand by for fireworks. Oh, blimey. I told him to clear up after himself, Kath. No, you don't, mate. It won't take long to clear this lot up. It's not the point. Girlfriend or girlfriend, I'm going to tell him. No, Summers! No, 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 no! Well, I was uh, wondering if you'd like to move in with me. Look, Mum and him played every game there was. Rules weren't in it. Me and my brother was just ammunition for them. I learnt a lot. People don't use me no more. Not ever. Now get out. No, it's not like that. I'm here. I, 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 I've come to say hello. No, I've got to lock up. Get out before I throw you out. I suppose. Right. Let's start again, okay? We just met for the first time in our lives. 
We just happen to be father and son, which makes it hard. It makes it hard to say son. It makes it hard to say dad. Let's try anyway. Hello, son. Who's that? What the bloody hell are you doing here? There's no need to ask you that, is there, Ian? Ian! What? Blimey. Oh, no! Yeah, but all this money for the kitchen, I want to know where it's coming from. It's none of your business, Simon. It wouldn't be any of Den's business, would it? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, Charlie's on the Shut up and listen to me, will ya? You've done some dirty wrong things in your life, but it's takes the biscuit, doesn't it? Just let go of me, Simon. I trusted you. You left that money so Shan would always be all right, and you thieved it. I borrowed it. I had to. Oh, you borrowed it, did you? So what happens next time we're a bit short, eh? Another little dip in the piggy bank, is it? Oh, the love and duty bit. Did you mean it? Of course I did. Especially the love and duty bit, I meant that. I think a lot about it, I do. I thought we were going out. No. I think we're staying in. Mm. Ian, hello. Hey, love, you ready? Yeah, right, how'd it go? It's been murdering here. Yeah. All those for me? No, they're for me. Um, well, look, Mum and Dad are out, so I thought we could go back Oh, home. Ian, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I am deadbeat. Yeah, well, uh, look, we'll see you later, sorry, all right? I suppose you are as well. Bye, Si, thanks for everything. Be one for the books if you weren't. Look, no, no, mate. Yeah. I love you. And I'm having your baby. And I'm pleased. Are you pleased? Please say something. Son, please say something. Cindy. How can you stay in Warford? Watching him grow up. Believing Ian's his dad. You'll miss out on everything, son. No. Oh, so you managed to get her back in the bed. Right, here you go, love. That one's yours. Yeah, and this is yours, sir. Oh. Right then. I'd like to make a toast to the proud and lucky parents. <sighs> to the future. You didn't even have the guts to admit he was your son. But he is mine, Cindy. I know You're that too now. late, Simon. You're too damn late. Who's there? Oi! Who's there? What's Cindy say? I haven't had a chance to talk to her yet. But nobody's told Sharon, man. No, not yet. Any minute they might. People keep looking at me, Mum. Get away, you're getting paranoid. Leave it. I can't. Sharon's gonna find out. All right, then. If you've convinced yourself of that, there's only one thing you can do, isn't there? You get over there and tell Sharon first. Sharon, there is nothing to tell. This is just stupid. Is it? I know when someone's lying to me. And I know when someone's got something to hide. I hope it is unimportant, so I hope you get round to telling me. Because if you don't, I think it's because you can't. Because it's something... Well, something that's going to have to come out in the end. Dear Simon, I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm not sure when I'll be back. I just need to get away for a few days. Don't worry. Love, Sharon. What, Sharon? Sharon, oh, Sharon!
I'm sorry, Si. I've heard it once too often. You do what you want, but leave me out. You what? You heard. As far as I'm concerned, you can go to that interview by yourself. I wouldn't want to run a race for you, never mind a pub. Just count me out. If we can be friends, OK. But if you want anything more than that, then just forget it. I'd rather not see you again. Ever. You don't really mean that, Cindy. Try me. Where do you think you're going? Out. Well, you better be back in time. Look, you've right been now. in out of here today like a yo-yo. Now it's my turn, okay? No, it's not okay. Simon, it's my mother. She's ill and she's in hospital. I'm going to see her. I've told you it doesn't matter anymore. What matters is me and you and Stephen. I want you to come home with us tonight. Well, what is it? What's the problem, Sam? No problem. Hey, Simon, come here a minute. Look, I still stand by what I said, but I think you've got a right to know. Might give you some idea how Ian's feeling at the moment. Hey? The tests were negative. What do you mean, negative? In plain English, Ian isn't Stephen's father. Back in there, Ian! I've had One of these days, you're going to have a very nasty accident. Simon, I don't know what's happened here, mate. What, you've lost your job or something, is that it? That's the general idea, yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear about it. Sorry, after what you've done. I've done nothing. And if you weren't acting like such a pillock, I might even have to help you out. You help me? Yes, I care about you, and I care about Sam. How could I care you about help Steve. me? I could offer you work. You what? Yeah, running the bar on some of my catering functions. That's if you're interested. So what'd you say? Goodbye, man.